Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 21 and beyond. And we have with us our magic helmet. We still have 11 hours for this. And we can see that we've got the red helmet, so every time we start a new level, as long as we don't lose any levels in between, we get a color bomb, a striped candy, a wrapped candy, and three extra moves. Now also, if we complete the level the first go-round, we get a nice little golden dot with a golden crown on top to show how well we have done. I know eventually I'm going to run out of those. <laughs> There's going to be one where I just don't quite make it on the first try. Okay, so Tiffy's having fun over here. Lake is out of lemonade. I don't really care about the story. <laughs> That's how cold-hearted I am. So, we have 48 moves thanks to Mort's helmet and the magic dash to clear out 27 jelly but we've got something new on the board we've got this frosting this is called meringue frosting it's nice and fluffy and it's one layer thick and under it we've got some jelly and that's what we need to clear out i'm going to line up my boosters now if you don't know this already it's been on uh, some of my other videos we can control what rows these take out when i combine a wrapped candy and a striped candy it's going to take out a um, swath of three columns by three rows. Well, the columns are determined by the fact that these are both in the same column and it's going to take out this, the column to the left, and the column to the right. But because these are on different rows, I can determine which rows get removed. I can make this the pivotal color, take out this row, the row above, and the row below. Or I can make this the pivotal color, take out this row, the row below, and then we're reduced to two rows because we will have um, not the opportunity to take out a third. There is no third row up here, but that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to push the purple into the yellow, making the yellow the pivotal color. And the reason I did that is I wanted to preserve this. I want to see if I can use this in a different or better way in the future. Now, sometimes the side areas are tough to reach, these little edges. So if I can make some progress along the edges, I will. I can do that, but I'm going to do this which gets me on this lower area. And I think I can make a stripe here. And now I can do this. And this is a pretty good setup to have on a board like this. We've got quite a few blue pointed in different directions. This not only is going to help take out that meringue frosting, but it's also getting rid of some of the uh, jelly that's underneath. And now look at this. This is kind of perfect. I mean, if I can get this sent off, and it looks like I can, this is a perfect place to detonate this. This wrapped candy is going to send that stripe all the way down. If I keep checking, it shows that I have one more of these to get rid of. Oh, look at this. And now just because it's fun and because I can't reach a green, let's do this. I see that I've, I'm in position that I can blow this up. Okay, so that's how we take care of jelly that has... Uh, an added feature to it. It's basically an extra layer because we have to get rid of that meringue before we can get rid of the jelly. So just consider it as a, a another layer of jelly when you're trying to figure out how to get rid of it. Okay, so we're going to skip this on to the next. So level 22. See our helmet is still with us. We're not going to bring in any boosters, but we certainly could. And here we have, should be 15, but now we have 18 moves, thanks to Mort, to take down two ingredients. I only have one on the board. Presumably the other is going to come from here. And then we drop it down into one of these areas with a green arrow. Uh, I can't match up any of my specials. So let me just try to make some moves that are going to bring this down lower. Ooh, this is going to be nice. So now I've got the meringue frosting in the way of bringing an ingredient down. So you'll see that these barriers come in all sorts of forms and fashions. I'm going to make a very explosive move here. I'm going to create a color bomb. At the time I do this, I'm doing it with a stripe, so it's also going to activate the color bomb. And this may end up getting taken out too, but I don't think so. Nope, there we go. And so the color bomb takes out a color, and what that does is it concentrates the rest of the colors on the board. Now eventually I will have to take this out because it's in the path of the 
There we go. It got taken out anyway. It's in the path of the special. But color bombs beget color bombs and other spe specials. By reducing the number of colors on the board, it makes it easier to make those specials. I think I'm going to take out all green at this point. It'll take this out. It'll sink this really low. It'll concentrate those colors. And now let's see if I can make maybe a stripe. Figure out how to get this blue taken care of. Actually, if I could get a purple down here. Oh, we have our second ingredient on the board. Oh, it slid off to the side. That can be dangerous because the side is protected. So I'm going to make a special that will hopefully help me to reach in that area. I only have nine moves left. I have to be very cautious at this point. Let's see, how can I go about getting this done? I should really think about this one now. I think doing this is going to help me set this up, and it might also drop in another color bomb. Not quite, but close. Look what I can do now. I can create a color bomb by bringing that purple down. Okay, so now I can take out this blue that's in the way, and then I can take out the purple. My goodness, I really needed Mort's helmet to be able to complete this on the first try. And uh, just in case you don't know about that, that's a mini game found on the new platform. And there are usually two mini games a week. The spaceship, the space dash mini game, is even more explosive than Mort. You get. Um, almost twice as many specials to help you. You get the same number of extra moves, but you get two color bombs and two striped candies and two wrapped candies. So um, it's, it's even more advantageous sometimes. Sometimes the screen is just too small to really make, take much advantage of it. Now here we go. We've got 53 moves. Thank you, Mort to clear out 30 jelly, and the jelly is trapped under this meringue. So I need to try to remove that as best I can. Remove the meringue so I can get to the jelly. Again, it's going to be easier to work in the middle, so if I have opportunities to work along the side, I will. Now we know color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. If I wanted to make very certain of what I was doing, I would match this with the color of the most prevalent candy on the board. And instead I'm going to go with purple because I want the explosion from the wrapped candy to work down here. And now when I do that, I make it easier for me to make more specials. So I'm going to see if I can match this up with it with a special. Take out more of that meringue. Cascades are also nice. You see how I make one move and it then creates several additional moves? Hmm. I think I want to put these guys together. A nice stripe draft combo. What that means is I'm going to be sacrificing this guy. But not really, because he'll still be hit and he'll still take out the most prevalent color on the board. And that's not a problem for me because it'll concentrate the colors down again. Now again, we've got this stripe draft combo, but this time they're both in the same row. So it's going to take out this row the row above and the row below. I get to, determine, get to determine the columns. I don't want this, this, and this column because I only get one column of the jelly. And notice the jelly is double thick besides being under the meringue. I want to get this, this, and this. So I'm going to push the red into the yellow. We took all of that out. Now I can make more specials. Wrapped candies are very helpful on this board because they have a double explosion, so they take out that double thick stuff. Normally I make moves low to the ground, but sometimes I look up above to see if there are some specials that can be made to help us. Oh, now we have not yet shown, I don't think, a wrapped wrapped combo. This is not in a great spot, but I've got 36 moves. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get all this done, and I want to show you what this is. This is a double explosion, and it's a huge explosion. See, see that big square that it took out? And it drops and it does it again. So really worthwhile. The other thing is sometimes we'll have uh, isolated areas. There'll be kind of a ditch between them. 
and you wouldn't think that oops hello you wouldn't think that two color bombs together would be able to help but they can bridge the the distance of that um, that ditch gap and really help us out there as well okay almost done I've got one more I've got 30 moves to get it so I should be able to maneuver okay I'm going to try to get this yellow down here because why not right oh I'll just do this one instead match it with orange and then we get credit for every move that we haven't taken yet that'll get us our three stars now if you don't have a mini game available um, because your mini game has run out this is still possible to do you just uh, might have to play it through several times if you're really struggling you may consider bringing in some boosters or using some in-game boosters to help alright so now we have to collect all the ingredients we have 23 moves to collect two ingredients the cherry is on the board the hazelnut will show up eventually it looks like we're going to have an invisible portal where this is going to drop to here we can't be certain yet but I think on the lower levels they're not going to make us kind of move this over on some of the advanced levels they will so let's check it out does this drop down yes indeed it drops down so we shouldn't have too much trouble with that I've got this opportunity I'm almost going to take it almost I say almost because I'd like more blue pointed over here oh well <laughs> I lost the opportunity to take it because I hesitated. That happens often. But look what I've noticed. You have to look at the portals and see what the next thing is that's going to show up. And the next thing that's due to come here is a purple. So I'm in perfect position not to take this special, but to do this, to bring that purple down, and then I can bring this to the ground. And now, of course, I'm in the perfect position to have this help me take that ingredient all the way to the bottom. So that's how I complete this level. I wish I could tell you what level it is, but I've lost track and they don't really show us while we're in the level. That was level 24. Okay, so on to level 25. Pretty soon I'm just going to be doing one level per recording. In these first few episodes, I thought it would be best to take it this way. So now we've got 53 moves to clear out 27 jelly. Now the jelly is trapped under, down at the bottom, under some meringue, and then in what I call licorice cages. And so we have to bust through the licorice cages. We can do that in, in one of two ways that I know. The first is to be able to match things up. Like I've got a red here. So if I could get a red here and a red here, it would match this and open this up. The second way is to use specials to do it, either um, using like a stripe would cut it, or if I use this color bomb and match green, it would open up the green ones. Or of course, if I do this, then I'll have a nice little explosion area. What I'm going to do before I do this is I think I will take out all, I know I could make more specials here, but I'm going to take out all red from the board. I think I'm still going to have this available to me. But then what's going to happen is, with less red on the board, I have more blue, and so I have more opportunity for this to create an even bigger impact than it would have otherwise. We've already seen that if I don't take the special combinations that I have available, I might lose those opportunities. So it's a risk I'm taking, but I thought it was a calculated risk. Okay, so this is the only one I don't have open yet. I think it's well worth it just to open it with this. And now I need to work along the edge, and that's how it often is, where we have to work along the edge because the edge is the most difficult area to reach in order to get this cleared out. Actually, I don't have to work along this edge. What I could do is make a move way over here and line it up so I could use a special that has kind of a ranged attack to it to help me clear things out. So that is how I beat level 25. 
And if you have any questions about any of these levels, put that in the comment section.